a day. Possibly a day, businessman Alfred Agbeshi Woyome will never forget. He has been set free, and now the distance between him and the prison gate has grown even wider. He still has 51 million Ghana cities to pay to the nation, though. And did I hear the finance minister said Tekpe was heckled in parliament? Well, that does not come as a surprise because even the late Professor Mills was heckled when he delivered the State of the Nation address in 2012. But we will get into why it happened in the first place. I'm Ifakwa Harrison, and this is your favorite show, Join News Interactive. <laughs> Or you can get interactive with us via all our social media pages. We're on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. You can also find us on Twitter at join news on TV or at GN Interactive GH. Alternatively, you can send us an email at join news. I am at multitvworld.com or send your messages via WhatsApp. The number is 0540109009. This morning, NDC financier Alfred Woyome walked out of court, leaving behind a bunch of shame-faced public prosecutors who were accused by the judge of doing a sloppy job. This on record that the judgment is one of the best I have ever heard in recent times. We need to develop our criminal law. If you allege that an offense has been committed, Constitutionally, the best thing is to put the person who has been charged before the court. You don't put him before the streets. You put him before the court so that at the end of it, you would have advanced the course of our criminal justice system. So we all know that since 2012, the name Woyome has rung in our ears so much that songs were even composed in tribute to his infamy. Yes, Woyome is a popular name indeed, thanks to the 51 million CDs he allegedly illegally received from the state in 2010 for his role in the construction of Stadia for the 2008 African Nation Cup, which Ghana hosted. The Accra High Court Judge Justice Ajet Nassam, justifying his decision for freeing Mr. Woyome, stated that prosecution failed to prove its case against the accused person. The judge was hard on the state prosecutor. He described the case they presented as shoddy, sloppy, like a desicle, and a complete waste of time. Whoa. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to work in that office. In fact, I would be very worried if I did work in that office. They always seem to be losing important cases to the disappointment of Ghanaians. Anyway, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Marietta Bu Apia says the AG will appeal 
Mr. Woyomis judgment. Let's hope they get it right next time. But we've been asking you Ghanaians what you think about Woyomis acquittal. What the court has just done is to tell government or any leading official that whenever they are doing things, they should do it on a good note. It should be well documented. On one aspect, you see Woyome being on the right path. On the other aspect, you see Woyome being on the wrong path. So I think rule of law has just spoken. The guy even said that he didn't work for it. So how come the court has to say that uh, he has to go freely? I mean, I mean, I mean, this is not fair. I'll, it's not fair to Ghanaians. Following the case, one would think that uh, the seriousness uh, that was needed to be attached to the case wasn't attached. You saw that it was, you saw that coming. I saw that coming because I felt that the case had been treated lightly uh, for, for the money that he is purported to have uh, defrauded the state of. The case wasn't given that much attention. I'm disappointed in the AG. I'm very sad for today. Because we all know we've been following this case for years. And we all know that Wyoming doesn't have any contract with Ghana. The, the, if I could say Ghana. But to the stand for the AG to play a shoddy system for Boyomi, it means Ghana, we have a long way to go. Ghanaians from the streets, and I'm joined by Atu Bonfo. He's another disappointed Ghanaian, a citizen of the land. Welcome to Join News Interactive, Mr. Bonfo. Thank you. Now we have all heard the news. What do you think about Royal May's acquittal? It's not too surprising, actually. Mm -hmm. Looking at the Attorney General Department right from about 2010, thereabouts when this issue started, you can see it lacks integrity and therefore they were not going to do anything about this money in terms of collecting it because one tends to think they connive with the gentleman to defraud the state. Wow. So, even though it's a sad day, it's not too surprising looking at the kind of characters that we've had today in the last five years. If this is not surprising, then what does this say about our judiciary or our, our, our system of, you know, taking issues to court? The whole thing that's happening to Ghana at the moment, I would say, is um, just like to quote Professor Lumumba of Kenya, he said something. The African and the Ghanaian, for that matter, at election time, can be likened to a person who's been given a blank check to buy a vehicle to take them to the promised land, which is development. Mm. And then we end up buying a Tico and expect the Tico to behave like a mistake. That's what we're doing to ourselves. We are putting the wrong people in positions of power and therefore, because they lack integrity, this is what we would get. All so right. I really don't blame the judiciary by itself. All three arms of government are disappointing. Just look at the parliament. Mm. The executive is worse off. So you don't even want to go there. It's all three arms. That all right. That's connived to put us in this way. But then we, the people ourselves, have to be blamed. Mm. Because when we get a chance to change it, we keep putting men who don't have integrity in high office. All right. Thank you very much. I've been speaking with Atu Bonfo. He's a citizen of the land. He's very disappointed but not surprised with the outcome of Woyo May's acquittal. Let's have some reactions from Parliament. I knew it. I knew it. And any King Fulua will not be surprised about the out, 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 out turn of the events. 
has, has happened this morning. But you see, the, the, the other side of it is this, that the public out there, already they say that um, public funds can be chopped left, right, center, and nobody uh, will be put in, uh, in prison or nobody will be made to pay for it. You see, the sanction regime of this country it is the problem. For me, and I stated this much earlier, that the chances of getting a conviction on Mr. Woyomi alone, without the public officials, was a far-fetched one. Way back, because as I just said, he presented documents. If the public officials had not conspired with him, it would have been impracticable to get any money. So the moment they withdrew the charges against the public officials, and they refused to charge Betty, uh, Betty Mulder, Drissi, for example, I, I had never had any faith. If what we are receiving and hearing is anything to go by, I think that the courts have spoken, and Ghanaians should take what the judge has said. The state has another opportunity in the court of appeal if they are dissatisfied with this uh, ruling. They have uh, another date with the Supreme Court if they so wish that the court of appeal are not ruled according to what they, uh, they feel it should be the case. We should allow the process to take this course. Reactions from Parliament. Now, former President Jerry John Rawlings has also reacted strongly to Alfred Woyomi's acquittal. As Attorney General's office, the men who collaborated this and our chairman, and now me, they have the general sentence, man. Okay, eh? okay, we are fighting corruption. We're not serious. We're not serious. Meanwhile, I'm a private job. I have what positions your party have. We know that two more party here, back on more more. Maybe 40% Asian, 60% air voting. <laughs> to protect themselves? You want one vote? Well, how many? You want another one? You know? Do you want one? Are we so stupid? <laughs> As the support base, the electoral college, one and only, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. You need to go. Former President Jerry John Rollins obviously very angry with the outcome of Alfred Abishi Woyume's case. Let's take a few of your comments from Facebook now. And Abdul Fatamola says, I think the law has run its due course and if as a result the man has been acquitted and discharged by the court, well, I think the case is closed unless the state wishes to appeal under the circumstances. Ray Wilson, Enyemiko Anane says, the law is made for the rich, okay? Sellet so says, the AG presented loose facts, pothole accusations, so if he is free, blame the AG. They created an avenue for him to be free. But, but, but Paul Kletu says, that is an indication of how corrupt we are as a nation Sadat Idris, either they set him free or not, it will not put food on my table. For me and my nuclear family, for me and my nuclear family, it's on to them. Uh, is Ishak Nai says, Ghana is ruled by our dear constitution, and for that matter, we, the people of Ghana, respect the ruling. So those are a few of your comments coming through on Facebook. We'll be telling you what happened in Parliament today after this.
Welcome back to Joy News Interactive with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. We've been telling you about the acquittal of Alfred Agbeshi Woyome. We've been taking your comments on that. Let's move on. Now, if you think Ghanaian parliamentarians are indisciplined, in quotes, let's just watch this. a lawmaking chamber somewhere in the world. I believe that was Kenya. But earlier today, our lawmakers gave the finance minister, Seth Tepe, a tough time in parliament. The MPs prevented the man in charge of the public purse from presenting a revised economic policy statement. Even the speaker was unable to convince the minority to allow proceedings to go on. Sitting was suspended for several hours as a result. Honorable members, so we need to listen to the minister before, before we can make before we can make a determination before we can make a determination on this matter. Is allowed to come. The point they're happy is done in such a way that the house cannot proceed to transact business. It is not in consonance with the traditions and the values of this house at all. Our the house, the house is suspended for 30 minutes. Did the MPs behave the way they did? Order 70, 72 provides that he can make a statement on the floor. However, yesterday the provisional order paper advertised that it was going to be a budget review for which a motion would have been um, uh, adopted. Today that budget review metamorphosed into a statement a statement. So the preliminary objection raised by the minority leader was why we had been told that we we're going to have a budget review and today it's going to be a statement. Then the majority leader indicated that yes, he changed it into a statement uh, because of the information he had. But it's not within his powers to change that because the business committee had already approved that it was going to be a review budget. If it's a review budget, then there's a motion which will be voted upon and then uh, it has to be carried if uh, the vote goes in favor of the motion it could be defeated then it would have been adopted by parliament if it's a statement that statement could have been released from his office that was dr mark Esibe yeboa finance committee member well, you heard it. The finance minister apparently failed to observe the right protocol before attempting to address the house. Hmm. I'm reminded of the saying that when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. But does his shortcoming really justify the behavior of the lawmakers? They need to behave because, you see, some of us look up to them. So if they don't handle certain issues nicely you know it will go and one day to hand them anything that you do now after certain years that you can't perform the same this year when you sit back and look at what you did those days you know it will help you talk out of hunger like you know and mostly is the kind of a thing that most of them can't control their temper you see today there are some people some even go in this thing of people slapping someone or something or talking and stuff Bravin anyhow there. But I think they should try to make some adjustments and they should make they should try to assign some people who will control such things. They are the people who are supposed to be very careful and listening careful to what is being read. So they can argue properly on it and bring something better to this country. We live in a country where there is nowhere a, a majority in parliament and a minority in parliament who come together in decision unless they are increasing their salary. Those are your views from the streets. Let's take your views on Facebook. We
posted the link to the story from myjoyonline.com. You can get an update of all the stories we talk about on there. Uh, Jeffrey Jefferson Quenu says, I side with the minority because without those, their voice will never be, have been heard. I feel sad when I hear them saying majority will always have their way. Moses Atibila is saying the conduct of our parliamentarians is very, very disappointing. And Kwabna Isumadu, is, Isumadu has a long one. I'm just going to read the first paragraph. For some time now, I've been asking myself why I should be a proud Ghanaian where nothing seems to be working in the country. Small nation blessed with vast resources and yet due to poor management by our various leaders who have been in power since independence. We have been going around begging. And those are just a few of your comments coming through on social media. Lord Edu Asari has What's Trending. So Alfred Wilmer's acquittal earlier today is also been trending the whole day on social media. Twitter, to be precise. Let's go find out some of the reactions. The first tweet is coming from Papa Mensa. There has been some conspiracy somewhere. The dead good press must do all he can to suck the AG. We must pay else we will hashtag drop that yam. And here is another tweet from Nana DKL. Wilmi has been a free man since the first day he set his foot in court. All these appearances were just formalities. Hmm. And here's another from Raphael. Someone in the Attorney General's office or the AG himself should be sacked for the way the case was handled. Hashtag Wayume. And Mick McKay says, Wayume is a free man? What about that kid wrongly accused for stealing? Hmm. And this is Gabby Ochidakun. Don't blame the court for freeing Wayume. Blame the state for deliberately mounting a very poor defense. Ama Ajma Asante's tweet says, Yo, take Kenneth's advice. Go and order some fufu with two Mohammeds and don't fret over the Wayume ruling. He was always going to walk. Right, and finally, this is from Ivan's A. Mensa. And somebody steals a goat and got remanded and forgotten for several years. Hashtag Wayume bring back our money. Very interesting tweets there, weren't they? So keep. And that was what's trending. Let's take a look at the video of the day. Here's very interesting. Kofi Filippo singing hmm, very popular song. Let's have a look. <laughs> that was Kofi Filippo singing Daddy Lumbas Yentiobia. Let's take a look at the picture of the day now before we wrap up. Aisha, you're welcome <laughs> back. Hey. What's going on there? I can't. I, I shall maybe you can explain to me what's going on in the picture well, of the no day. Comment. No comment. That's how we wrap up on Joy News Interactive and today's big story. My name is Aisha Ibrahim. My name is Ifo Akwa Harrison. Enjoy the rest of our program. Many thanks for staying with us. <laughs>